Hello, thank you so much for watching the Sashiko story. This is Atsushi. I would like to talk about the cultural appropriation in Sashiko today. Uh, cultural appropriation is a very sensitive topic. I am still learning about it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there is any cultural appropriation in Sashiko. However, I sometimes feel pain when I see the word Sashiko in very non-related context. Um, I'm still learning about cultural appropriation. At the same time, I receive so many questions about cultural appropriation in Sashiko. Uh, many people worry if they may be doing something inappropriate or even harmful. I really appreciate your concern. So being said that I'm still learning, this is my personal and simplest statement about cultural appropriation in Sashiko. Uh, you may be surprised, but the phrase is pretty simple. Do not worry about it too much. Okay, do not worry about it too much. However, there is one condition. Please do not ignore the voice of Japanese Sashiko artisans or the other any Japanese who practice Sashiko today. Um, here, pretty much, please do not ignore the message from me or from our friends that if we practice Sashiko. I often phrase it in a different way on my Instagram or Facebook, but the same message. Uh, what I often share is like the following. I actually encourage you to call your stitching Sashiko when you try to learn and respect the Japanese culture behind the world. If you do not care about our stories based on Japanese culture behind the world, then please do not use the word Sashiko or even borrow. Please note that your understanding of Sashiko is probably not wrong. They are probably correct. However, not, insuffi not sufficient. It is insufficient. Especially if you do not understand Japanese language, your understanding of Sashiko may be probably is insufficient. I personally don't even know the whole picture of Sashiko, although I read, lived in Japan, write in Japanese, talk in Japanese, lived with Sashiko for 30 years, yet I still do not understand the whole picture of Sashiko. So, in short, if you worry about you appropriating the culture by calling your stitching Sashiko, please do not worry about it too much. I really want you to keep learning what Sashiko is, and you are not the one who exhausts me emotionally, you're not creating any issues to me. However, if you think that you know enough about Sashiko, then please be careful. It is very non-Japanese things to say that he or she knows everything about that. Uh, calling oneself a master is very non-Japanese things to do. Uh, for us, a master is the title that someone gives the person objectively, calling oneself a master or even teacher is sometimes very strange to us. So, as a summary, no, I, I want you to know that you don't know. That's the first step. There's a lot of information I have shared already about Sashiko and Boro. Please start your learning by watching our Sashiko Stories video on YouTube, then read articles and post on our Instagram, Facebook, the other SNS, and also our website. I describe those links on the description field of this video. Related to this topic, I often receive a question like the following. I am calling my stitching Sashiko inspired or Boro inspired, so I should be okay, right? Well, I would like to ask 
you or them first what they are inspired from or by. Is it the word? Or how do Sashiko and Boro look like? Do they understand the stories or culture behind those words? Or even more, are they willing to learn the stories behind the words? The word inspired is not a ticket to do whatever you want or they want. It does not validate their action for appropriating the culture of Sashiko and Boro. I am not saying one or you, they need to fully understand the Japanese culture or the Japanese language. All I'm asking is their willingness, your willingness to learn what Sashiko is and what Boro is. And when they are willing to learn, when you are willing to learn, I would like to encourage you to call your stitching Sashiko or Sashiko inspired. Either way is fine. So in summary, if you try to care for the stories and people behind the world, both Sashiko and Sashiko inspired is good. If you do not care, if you say you, I don't care about the stories behind it, then both of them are painful to me. It is not how you phrase it, it is more like how you approach this word. I hope it makes sense. Again, cultural appropriation is very, very sensitive topic. I would like to avoid any misunderstanding. At the same time, I don't want to be quiet anymore. So I am still learning. I am still learning. Uh, there are two additional notes which may sound contradicting to what I have shared today. Um, they're not really contradicting. I am still in the process of learning and explaining. That's why it may sound like contradicting. Uh, let me share those two. First, uh, Boro is a bit different story. I am not an expert in Boro. I am making a Boro to be jacket, Boro to be pieces, but it is very difficult to locate the old story about Boro. Not even all, like many stories of Boros are hidden. So when you say Boro inspired, I really want you to be careful what you are inspired by. Um, sometimes people say that Boro is the happy mending and they call it Boro inspired stitching. I do not think that Boro is associated with happiness or even joy or positive feelings. They might be, but also Boro carries the negative feelings. Um, sometimes people use the Boro under the food and saying Boro inspired placemat and have a wonderful meal over that Boro inspired patchwork. That is very strange and sometimes kind of disgusting. Would you drink water from toilet bowl? Even if it's 100% cleaned, very sanitized, but you know that it was used. It's in the second-hand store. Everybody says that it's, hand, it's sanitized, it's so clean. It looks clean, too, but would you feel comfortable drinking water from that bowl? That's how strange it is for us to eat something directly from the Boro placement. So make sure, be careful, be careful when you use the Boro inspired word. I am still learning, I am still trying to explain what it means. But unlike Sashiko that I have been practicing, Boro is a little more complicated to explain. And the second thing, second additional note that I would like to share strongly is that <laughs> I keep saying this today, but I am still learning. I am still in the process of learning about this difficult, sensitive topic. So please learn about cultural, cultural appropriation from others as well. Uh, some other people of color, some other person of color, POC, have different ideas for the cultural appropriation. 
their message can be sometimes more strict, more straightforward than my messages today. They may not say, don't worry about it too much if you do blah, blah, blah. They might not have the same message for you. This difference happens because I am just becoming a person of color from a native Japanese. I moved to the U.S. in 2014. I became a father of color and a person of color. My daughter is, you know, half Japanese. I am learning how to be a person of color in the U.S. And when I was a native Japanese who lived in Japan, I didn't have to worry about the differences that I see today. I am learning a lot from those who have been through a lot of pain, sometimes probably severe pain than I am going through. So please, please learn from them as well, even if what I say is not the same as the others. As much as my voice is out of truth, I am speaking out of my experience and past and history, their voice are important to be heard. So please learn from them as well. Um, I do not say or even think that only Japanese can practice sashiko. I do not think like that. I do not even say that. I sincerely believe that anyone can and should be able to enjoy sashiko stitching. And I hope everybody can call this stitching sashiko as well. However, I respect others who think more strictly on this matters um, some people may think that uh, only Japanese can practice sashiko and although I disagree with them, I am willing to learn how that voice was produced. Come to think about it, if, if I realize that the reality in the future where sashiko become completely different from what I know while I didn't know about it, um, by someone's convenience, then I might have to change my opinion. My statement might be different in the future, but I just don't want it. I just don't want it to happen. Sashiko is now ongoing trend, and I'm here to share that it's not gonna happen. So, as a summary, I really want you to enjoy sashiko. Call you stitching sashiko is fine, so we can avoid this further cultural repainting or even erasing the essence of sashiko. I want you to learn and I'm here to share. Sometimes the Japanese are not good at sharing, especially those personal experience or personal traditions. They or we have not shared so much. There are not many documents, there are not many um, knowledge, wisdom, from the past to today's society in English or even in Japanese, we did not share that much because that was more personal, more domestic. But it doesn't mean that outsider can change it completely. I would like you to learn what sashiko is for us and so we can enjoy sashiko together. Thank you very much for watching this video.